Okay, folks, we are back uh, with the third, uh, third round of rapid fire questions. And thank you, everyone, for sending questions. Uh, Ted, uh, your video series number one and two was a hit, and people are enjoying. Everyone is liking what you're educating them about tax uh, lien certificate and the whole process. It's amazing, and uh, and some of them are they are looking forward to even joining uh, your training, the six hour training that you mentioned. Okay, Ted. Yeah. Without wasting any time, let's get into uh, these questions of a rapid fire questions. Ted, can you? Just review for my students here what a tax lien certificate is, please. Okay. First of all, every property in the United States has a tax. If people don't pay the tax, then the government has to do something. So half of the states, what they do is they don't take the property away. That half of the states are very benevolent. And what they say is, all right, you didn't pay your tax, so we're going to issue a tax certificate. Now, why they issue the certificate? Because the government needs the money to pay the police and the school teachers and the fire department and all that. So now they... They sell a certificate on your taxes because that's what your taxes do. Property taxes pay for all those bills. All right, so that's a tax lien. All right, the other half of the state, they're not so benevolent. What they say is, whoa, you didn't pay your tax. So they confiscate. They take the property away. Then what are they going to do with it? They don't want the property. So they put it up for auction, and they start the auction at the back taxes. Now, I don't know if you're going to get one at back taxes because they're going to start that auction at 10 or 20 cents on the dollar. But people get discounts of 60, 70, 80 percent on these properties. So you can buy a property. I bought properties in New York and Michigan, Florida, Texas. I bought properties 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar with no mortgage. The mortgage is wiped out. They wipe out the mortgage and they wipe out the deed of trust. So all the states collect taxes. Some of them, what they want is they want to get it by a tax certificate. The other ones want to get their money by getting the property and sell it. So anybody can buy these. You could be in Singapore, Mexico City, Canada, Montreal, Vancouver, anywhere you want to be, and buy tax certificates, and you can do it all online, and we're the people that teach you how to do it. Awesome. My next question, Ted, is does the county automatically send you a check with the interest when the certificate is redeemed, or do we have to follow up with the county? Okay, there's no follow-up, which makes everybody happy. Now, years ago, when I started, you had to take your certificate and then you had to FedEx it to the county and then they sent you a check via the regular post. But nowadays, what they do is they get all the information online and all of a sudden your phone will go beep, beep, beep. We just deposited the money in your account. So I have some clients, they buy, so have people buy a lot of tax certificates. Like, beep, beep, beep. Every time they get it, they like to show all their friends, you know. Oh, I just made this, I just made 12%. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Ka-ching, ka-ching. That's it. I forgot that. Yeah. Ka-ching. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Ted, uh, next question is, what is the fastest state to get access to these properties? The oh, my goodness. If, if, you buy, if you buy a tax, if you buy a tax defaulted property in Texas, in Texas, you raise your hand like this at the auction, and you pay the taxes on that property, okay? Then they give you a deed. You get a deed to that property. Okay, now that person in that property has 180 days to come in and pay you back all your investment. And if they pay you back, you get all your money back plus 25%. So they got 180 days to come in and pay you back. If they don't pay you back, you get a property in 180 days. Is that pretty good? Wow, that's amazing. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, so next question is, do you, do you need an attorney, a lawyer, or a real estate broker to buy these tax defaulted properties or tax liens? No, you can. All of this is for the public. This system is made for the public to join it. Now, every once in a while, uh, the banks will show up and want to do something, or maybe an a, a investment fund will. But this is a people business. Now, well, let me tell you why it's a people business. Because what you have to do if you're going to buy a tax property you got to do what I teach you to do. And what that is simply is that you got to go out there and look at that property. And you know those bankers are not going to be in New York City and come to look at properties down in Tennessee or Texas or wherever. So you're going to walk on that property to see what the condition is. So you're kind of getting the idea. Now, I just had a recent client from Vancouver. And uh, that client was buying in, in uh, different places. And I said, why don't you go to Los Angeles? And he said to me, he said, you know, um, 
I don't want to go there because I heard that uh, too many people go to the auction. And I said, well, there's an awful lot of properties. That's why. And he said, oh, are there are a lot of properties. I said, yeah. So sure enough, I, I said to him, I said, why don't you call and get a list of the properties? And so he did. He, he called the sheriff uh, and, and and says, it's, it's on the way. And then I said, well, did you get it yet? And he hadn't got it. So I called and I called the county and I said, listen, I want to buy some tax lien certificates in Los Angeles County. The guy said, you can't buy tax lien certificates in Los Angeles. You have to buy the property. I said, what does that mean? That means we sell tax deeds. And I said, wow, what does that mean? He said, we're going to sell you the property for the back taxes. I said, well, what about the mortgage? He said, the mortgage is wiped out. I said, what do you mean by wiped out? He said, it's, it's gone. It's taken off the property. I said, well, how can you do that? He said, it's easy. I said, what do you mean it's easy? He said, we're God. We can do anything we want. And so guess what? So I said, can I get a list of the property in Los Angeles? This is the list he sent me from Los Angeles. It says right on it. You can read it. Los Angeles County Auction. Okay. All right. This is how many properties. So I got wow. it. This is over 1,300 properties here. One auction, 1,300 properties. So he went to the auction and he bought five properties for eight and a half cents on the dollar in Los Angeles Amazing. County. This guy, he flew from Vancouver two hours to LA. He went to the auction. Watch this video. You'll be stunned. Folks, let me explain this. You'll never have to work another day in your life. The, the insecurity is gone if you just follow in this man's footsteps. Now, we're going to talk about Los Angeles, California, where the starting bid is the back taxes, and they had over 3,000 properties, and that's the auction book that I mentioned earlier. Here's what happened. My name is Rene Goche from Surrey, B.C. In October, I went to Los Angeles County tax deed sale bought five properties for roughly $85,000. They are vacant lots. One is in Malibu, four in downtown LA. Gorgeous properties. Their value, tax assessed value, is just over $1 million. I did this after taking Ted's course in under 90 days. Thanks, Ted. Just imagine Los Angeles, California, a million dollars worth of properties and he only spent $85,000. That's eight and a half cents on the dollar. Folks, this is in your best interest. Once you learn this, you can do it for the rest of your life. But you know what you're thinking? I know what you're thinking. You're saying, how would I ever sell those properties? Well, use my Walmart strategy. What is that? It's buy low and sell low. So we had a million dollars worth of properties. Let's give an 80% discount and see what we have left. Well, we still have 200,000 left and he only spent $85,000. Look at the property made just one deal, one auction in Los Angeles, California. How about that? Okay, folks, it took a little bit to show you that, but he bought those properties for eight and a half cents on the dollar. And like I said, if he gives an 80% discount, he's still going to make $100,000 profit. You've got to learn how to do this business. Okay, Tax. next, I have a hypothetical question. Let's say, Ted, you had $50,000 to invest. Would you buy like, many small tax lien certificates or just a couple of big ones? Okay, I would buy um, five $10,000 ones because you never know when the guy's going to pay the taxes off. So what if you bought one big one and then the next day he pays the taxes? If it's... If it's an 18% return, that's annualized over the year. So you're only going to get a percent and a half a month. Or I would go to Georgia and I'd buy a tax deed because it's redeemable. And when the guy redeems it, he has to pay me 20%. See, there's strategies to learn. And each one of these counties does it different. So I would buy the five little or I'd go to Texas or Georgia, which... Those are favorite states of mine, that's for sure. Yes, awesome. So, Ted, am I responsible for paying the utilities like water, heating, electric bills, and so on 
for this tax deed homes? Well, when you raise your hand like this and you buy, they're going to give you a deed to the property. That means you own it. So if you own the property, you got to pay the taxes on it. You got to take care of it. If you got a power bill, you got to pay the power. A hydro bill, you got to pay the hydro. You got you got to pay. I mean, it's your property, so you ha you have to pay for it. Okay, thank you for sharing that. So, and on the next question is, can I buy at auction with credit cards? Can I use my credit card to buy? Well, the, the counties are starting to get into the 2024 uh, year, but the counties are kind of backward. But um, most of your clients will be interested to know in New York State, which is down the street from you, yes. in New York State, you can use credit cards. I buy myself in, in New York. Uh, Michigan, you can buy with credit cards. Tennessee, you can buy with credit cards. And Arkansas. And the only reason I can name the four, because that's the only four that really do it that way right now. Uh, mo most of them are st still want you to have to pay cash. Okay, so, so this brings us to the last question. Uh, like, skeptical investors will ask you, what about the homes that are still in debt to the banks? How can a tax lien just, like how can a tax lien just buy that house unless the bank writes it off? So that seems very unlikely to happen with the bank has to write it off so can you please explain us uh about this okay that's really a good question uh, a lot of people don't add i'm glad you asked that okay so now uh the first lien on any property is always the tax lien so the tax liens first so this is the tax lien now when the bank comes along and lends that's the second lien so if you don't pay your taxes the government can wipe out the bank or any other lien but every bank loan that you ever get, the bank loan always says you must pay, number one, the payment, you must pay the taxes, and you must pay the insurance. So the bank, the same time they notice the property owner and say, look, you're in default, you got to pay, they notify the bank. So the bank will more than likely pay the tax, and then they would foreclose on you. But if people don't pay attention, the bank doesn't pay attention, the tax lien is the priority lien. It can wipe out all other liens, all other liens. All right, so before I finish, I want to tell you one, one story that's very important that everybody understand. So we've been teaching this for a long time. So a guy came from Nicaragua to us as a new client. And we said to him, now, look, you just can't do what you want to do. You've got to follow the rules. The United States has rules, so you've got to follow the rules. If you don't follow the rules, you're, gonna, you're not going to do well. So he said, okay, what do you want me to do? We want you to go and look at all these properties. So now the property list, sometimes, as I showed you, sometimes this could be a property list. Well, you could spend your whole life to look at that. So you're going to have to take and narrow it down, just go to one area. So he said, just go to this one area. And he wanted to buy in a, in a small community. And this answers your question you asked about small. So he found a small town just about 50 miles from Tampa, Florida. The Tampa's over on the west side, over on the Gulf side. He bought this little, in this little town. So he went there, and the auction was going to take place. He looked at all the properties, but he had been going to auctions all along, but he hadn't got a property. So now he went there, and he, and he went and looked at the property, and there was trees growing on it. The trees, the people didn't cut the trees, and it was all in not very nice shape. Now, it wasn't a dump, but it wasn't, you know, it was used and abused. So people are lazy. So the people, they didn't want to go drive out there and look at this property. So no one looked at the property. So they went and they got the satellites. So we teach people, use the satellite that goes right over the top, and they come down. The satellite will tell you if there's a geranium on the front porch. It'll tell you if it had a rose on the front porch. And so, but I couldn't see it because of all these trees, right? So we got to the bidding, and it turned out the house has had a value of 100000 according to the tax collector. So they started bidding. The first bid was $5,000. So he bid $6,000, $7,000. He bought this house for $9,100. Well, that was a good year because the property had a value of about $100,000, right? Well, then he got there. He cleaned all the trees out, cleaned it all out. And the next appraisal he got was $150,000. He only spent $9,000. And he sold the property for 159000 So we have classes four times a year. 
Anybody that gets in our courses, we're going to invite you to come to one of our classes. Now, look, I got to say this. We're running out of time. I appreciate you guys came to these videos. I hope you learned a lot. But if you're really interested in this, you want to learn a lot more. Every other Saturday, I do a six-hour class. Class starts at 11 in the morning, goes to 5 o'clock, never stops. You eat with us. You can sit back. You can watch the class. Uh, the classes have 50 or 100 people. You're going to do it on your computer because it's a virtual class. So now you can watch a virtual class. Now, look, I don't do anything free. It costs 47 bucks. Teachers got to get paid. All right, so 47 bucks. That's all it costs. But it'll be all day. So I hope you guys will take time. Go right down below me and register. You register there. Pay your 47 bucks. And then you'll see a lot of me. And you'll see all the people that work with me. I have coaches. I have guides. Uh, I have real people that do this. I've been doing it for 30 years. If you're really serious about learning about this and something you want to do, $47, just go right below me and register, and I'll look forward to seeing you there.